West African countries colonized by the Britain. Hello and welcome to AfroPage. In this video, we will be talking about African countries colonized by the British. Colonialism is a big topic, but it can only be understood by looking at human experiences. British West Africa was the collective name for British colonies in West Africa during the colonial period, either the general geographical sense or the former colonial administrative entity. British West Africa as a colonial entity was originally officially known as Colony of Sierra Leone and its dependencies, then British West African territories and finally British West African settlements. British West Africa was constituted during two periods, 17th October 1821 until its first dissolution on 13th January 1850 and again 19th February 1866 until its final demise on 28th November 1888 as an administrative entity under a governor-in-chief comparable in rank to a governor-general, an office vested in the governor of Sierra Leone at Freetown. The other colonies originally included in the jurisdiction were the Gambia and the British Gold Coast. Also, Western Nigeria, Eastern Nigeria and Northern Nigeria were included. Former colonialism first came to the region which they called Ghana in 1874 and British rule spread through the region until the early 20th century. The British called the territory the Gold Coast Colony. Britain had many colonies in Africa. In British West Africa, there was Gambia, Ghana, Nigeria, Southern Cameroon, and Sierra Leone. In British East Africa, there was Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. And in British South Africa, there was South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Lesotho, Botswana, and Swaziland. Britain had a strange and unique colonial history with Egypt. The Sudan, formerly known as the Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, was jointly ruled by Egypt and Britain because they had jointly colonized the area. The joint colonial administration of the Sudan by Egypt and Britain was known as the Condominium Government. The British system of government affected the type of racial or ethnic problems that all the Britain's African colonies had during the colonial period, the immediate post-colonial period, and from the 1980s into the 21st century. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and turn notification bell to get notified whenever we post a video, and by that way you will never miss out on our video. Now, let's continue. Number one on our list is Gambia. Gambia was actually a south after river running into the Atlantic from northwest Africa. The Portuguese had long known of this local communications highway and used it to trade in slaves and gold. In 1588, Portuguese emigres convinced Queen Elizabeth of the value of the area. The Gambia River and the islands at its mouth were impotent for Britain to control strategically as they were the emperor's main outpost in the area and a connection to its settlements and trading posts along the Gold Coast in Sierra Leone and Ghana. The Gambia was administered as a part of British West Africa from 1821 to 1843. It was a separate colony with its own governor until 1866 when control was returned to the governor general at Freetown, Sierra Leone, as it would remain in 1889. The Gambia Colony and Protectorate was the British colonial administration of the Gambia from 1821 to 1965, part of the British Empire in the new imperialism era. Sadauda Jawara, who died aged 95, was the Gambian politician who led the former British colony to independence in 1965 in what was ostensibly a multi-party liberal democracy. Re-elected five times, he resisted pressures during his rule for post-colonial Gambia to combine with neighboring Senegal. 
Pre-crisis phase, February 18, 1965 to October 26, 1980, Gambia formally achieved its independence from Britain and became a member of the Commonwealth Nations on February 18, 1965. But 1970 became a presidential republic. Jawara was elected the first president and remained in this position until 1994. Number 2. Ghana Ghana was called the Gold Coast. The earliest Europeans to set foot on the land were the Portuguese in the 15th century. On their first arrival, they found so much gold between the rivers and Cobra and the Volta that they named the area the Minor, meaning the mine. Present-day Ghana is the product of the British colonization of a territory they called the Gold Coast. This colony evolved from small coastal trading settlements, former slave castles, trading centers, and mission stations to the establishment of the Crown's colony of the Gold Coast in 1874. Two major factors laid the foundations of British rule and the eventual establishment of a colony on the Gold Coast. British reaction to the Ashanti Wars and the resulting instability and disruption of trade and Britain's increasing preoccupation with the suppressing and elimination of the slave trade. Former colonialism first came to the region which today called Ghana in 1874. The British rule spread through the region into the early 20th century. The Gold Coast was a British colony in the West Africa from 1867 to independence in 1957. Kwame Nkrumah formed the Convention's People's Party in 1949. The CPP called the immediate independence of the Gold Coast. The British Parliament passed the Ghana Independence Act and the Queen approved it on February 7, 1957. Dr. Francis Kwame Nkrumah PC was a Ghanaian politician, political theorist, and revolutionary. In 1957, the British colony of the Gold Coast became the independent nation of Ghana. He was the first Prime Minister and President of Ghana, having led the Gold Coast to independence from Britain in 1957. Number 3. Nigeria the colonial period in Nigeria began with the slave trade in 15th century. The Portuguese paved the way for the slave trade and Nigeria was a big area of business for them. They sold slaves in order to obtain spices and weapons in other areas. The Nigerians themselves were the ones who provided the slaves. Tensions between different ethnic groups and tribes caused prisoners of war, so to speak, who would be sold to the Portuguese as slaves. For many Nigerians, this was their main source of income. British influence in the region began with the prohibition of slave trade to British subjects in 1807. Britain annexed Lagos in 1861 and established the Oil River Protectorate in 1884. It was colonized by the British in 1884 and the colony is established at the Berlin Conference which divides Africa by European powers. In 1953, Enahoro became the first to move the motion for Nigeria's independence, which was eventually granted in 1960 after several political setbacks and defeats in the parliament. Enahoro has been regarded by academics and many Nigerians as the father of Nigeria's state. Prince Alexandra of Kent, representing her cousin the Queen, granted independence to the British colony of Nigeria on this day in 1960. The Federation of Nigeria was granted full independence on October 1, 1960 under a constitution that provided for a parliamentary government and a substantial measure of self-government for the country's three regions. From 1960 to 1963, the head of state under the constitution of 1960 was the Queen of Nigeria Elizabeth II, who was also the Queen of the United Kingdom and the other Commonwealth realms. The monarch was represented in Nigeria by Governor General Namdi Benjamin Azikwe.
November 1904 to 11th May 1996, usually referred to Zeke, was a Nigerian statesman and popular leader who served as the first president of Nigeria from 1963 to 1966. Number 4 on our list is Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, country of Western Africa. The country owes its name to the 15th century Portuguese explorer Pedro de Sintra, the first European to sight and map Freetown Harbor. The original Portuguese name Sierra Leone, Lion Mountains, referred to the range of hills that surrounds the harbor. When the British Parliament outlawed slavery in 1807, it acquired Sierra Leone from the company to settle people free from the Atlantic slave trade. Henceforth, Britain controlled the Sierra Leone administration and British colonies in the area, informally enslaved settlers despite the illegality of slavery. Sierra Leone was colonized in 1787 by freed slaves arriving from England. Other groups followed from Nova Scotia 1792 and Jamaica 1800. They were sponsored and governed by the private Sierra Leone Company until 1808 when Britain made Sierra Leone a crown colony. In 1808, Sierra Leone became a British crown colony ruled under colonial governor. The British administration favored the policy of indirect rule whereby they relied on slightly reorganized indigenous institutions to implement colonial policies and maintain order. The colony and protectorate of Sierra Leone was the British colonial administration in Sierra Leone from 1808 to 1961, part of the British Empire from the abolitionism era into the decolonization era. Dr. John Carafa Smart entered politics in 1957. He was the founder member of the Sierra Leone Organization Society, which later became the SLPP. He was active in the constitutional committees that eventually led to Sierra Leone's independence in 1961. And that's it on West African countries colonized by the Britain. Thanks for watching today's video and if you find this interesting, please click the like button, subscribe to this channel and smash the notification bell to always get updates on our latest upload. Till next time.